I'm trying to kind of get my work done, find some kind of balance. But this is kind of my little corner of the shop. Look at that. Ingemar, oh, everything crossed. He has an interview for a job. A real life Peppa. <laughs> she is not interested. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy date night. shop and <laughs> we've come up to all of these baskets and I've come up with this massive one and I've got a bag for Mia in here and I'm thinking this could be a really good storage for all of her toys but this is decisions decisions problem when I pop in here and it's 50% off today which is ridiculous in the charity shop but I see so many projects so I'm gonna just jump into the vlog. It's gonna be a bit of a kind of haphazard clips, snippets, whatever of our week. Um, at the moment, I am just focusing on Mia and trying to kind of get my work done, find some kind of balance in between family life. <laughs> so it's Friday right now. This morning, I got a little bit of work done. I actually put up a blog post, which I've not done for weeks, months possibly. Um, and I'm glad that I did that because it was very much an in the moment kind of blog post where I was feeling very anxious and I just decided I'm gonna share the things that I did this morning to try and calm myself and recenter and do a bit of self care and just find me again. So that's what I did this morning. That involved cooking some delicious cookies, some chocolate chip cookies, which was a treat and a cup of tea and put a lovely playlist on Spotify and I lit a candle and I just had a bit of me time and it was lovely. This is very much a spontaneous little haul but I've just come back from the charity shop where randomly they had a 50% off day which I always find strange when charity shops have a sale but anyway we also met two other friends in there and their kids so it was kind of a little bit of a meeting of the mums as well. Um, we got some bargains for sure so I'm going to share them with you but I'm going to do that quickly before Ingmar comes home and has a good laugh at all of the uh, second hand things that Sonia keeps finding as treasures and bringing home because he's getting a good laugh out of it. I'm going to dive in. So the first thing is this massive basket which has handles on it and was bigger than the shopping trolley so I had to actually carry it whilst I had Mia in the shopping trolley going around the store. So that cost 800 krona which it was 50% off so 400 which is about £2.50-£3 so an absolute bargain and that's the kind of thing that will just fit in a corner where we can just throw her toys to try and tidy up the place. The next thing is a little potty for her dolly because Mia is really into dolls at the moment and we will be coming up to the stage of potty training soon, so <laughs> hopefully. Um, and so yeah, it'll be good to kind of teach her with dolly and she can kind of play um, at potty training and so on as well. The next one is this cute handbag, so a little wicker handbag. She grabbed it and played with it and so that sold it to me. I'm gonna pick all of this embroidery off because I just think it's it'll look nicer without it. So, And it's in good condition and honestly, she'll just walk around holding this and putting some toys in it and having some fun with it. <laughs> Got your shopping bag. Mia. Hi, baby. Yeah. That was... 400 so 200 krona about one pound. The next thing is very soggy because Mia decided to chew on this which is disgusting um, <laughs> but it is a vlogging camera for her and it's wooden it's not plastic. I'm so excited for her to have this and to wear it and to kind of walk around and vlog with mummy and take some pictures and it's just super cute. It was 650 so 325 <laughs> maybe like two pounds or something. And then the last thing that I bought is super exciting for me. For those of you who know, I used to live in India and so very strangely, they had a little Indian rickshaw, so an auto rickshaw. And I just, when I saw this, I just thought I have to have it. 150 krona, 75, like 
40 pence or something. Probably what it would cost in India. Yeah, how cute is that? And that's it, that's everything that I bought. We just did a quick swap over. So she's in the car, Ingmar's gone out with her to buy some dinner and then we're just gonna have a cozy night in because there is a storm brewing and it just gets crazy, crazy windy here and whistles through everything and then I can't sleep at night. So I'm kind of bracing myself for the storm. Right, it's Saturday, so today I am just kind of having a slow morning in the shop, the office, the studio, whatever I want to call it. Um, the tiny bit of desk that Ingmar has left me because he's taken over my studio space. But anyway, he has taken me out to his sister's for an hour so that I can pack up the orders for the shop. And that's what I'm doing right now. I've got a playlist on, I've got a candle burning. I'm just having some me time and chilling because after that, Mia's gonna come home and then we're gonna have a play date with her friends. So it's gonna be chaotic in here, but great fun. So I'm gonna get work done first, quickly have a cup of tea and then enjoy the afternoon. I might make some Play-Doh, let's see. So for anyone who's interested at the moment, this is kind of my setup. So I've got all of the stock in this unit here in the drawers and we've got Mia's toys underneath, Ingemar's computer and all his stuff around. But this is kind of my little corner of the shop. Uh, so I'm just putting together some orders and I'm loving what people are choosing, the colours. I love to see what people put together as their collections, it's really fun. So yeah, basically just collecting all that together, getting it in the envelopes and ready to mail out and add to the pile over there as well. I'm gonna do some Play-Doh now. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Right, so we've made, we don't have much food coloring, so we've got a pink and we've got a white. Squishy! Squishy! Woo! What should we make? A big snowball. Mm. Mini Mia. A mini Mia, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh dear. Not my finest it's creation. Probably. Is that it? <laughs> it's bouncy. Does it feel funny? <laughs> Woo! What do you think, Mrs? No, not sure. Yeah, the big girls. They make it bounce a lot. <laughs> Go, Mia! You're bouncing! Woo! <laughs> a new trampoline. Chipping. If you ever wanted to know what Saturday night is like in our household, we have little Miss Mia. <laughs> Where did you even get that pen from? We have dinner still on the table. Some who knows what going on in this room. There's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of DIY. I don't know what's going on with the dishwasher, but it's currently in this state. Ah, Mia! So today we had a long walk. We walked for eight kilometers, or rather, I walked for eight kilometers. Mia did not want to walk. We even went to the play park, didn't play much. She has been in her bed for about an hour now. She cried. She's teething. She doesn't seem very happy. She's fine now because she wanted milk <laughs> and bubbles. So now we're just having a midnight feast, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is funny. Ready? Go! Go, bubbles! Is this the best? You're going to have amazing dreams tonight. A full tummy, probably a full nappy in about five minutes, and bubbles! We need to fill it up. Yay! There we go. Mia say night night. Night night. Bye bye. Wait, bye bye. Night night. Today is Monday, it's an entirely different week and we are out running some errands. So basically today, Ingemar, oh, everything crossed. He has an interview for a job and it's exactly his field of expertise and it's a good company, it's really local and it's just, it would be just what he needs right now. So. Everyone have everything cross forum, please. The power of the internet, internet, 
let's see what we can do. Um, so Mia and I are out of the house because the interview is actually online. I'm not quite sure why they're not doing it in their offices, but we're pretty much back to normal here in Iceland. So it's not anything to do with distancing or whatever, but anyway, that's what they're doing. So we are out of the house for pretty much the next few hours. So I have some orders, which I'm gonna take Mia into the post office. We're gonna get them posted out. And then we're gonna to run to Costco because we need to pick up meat and whatever for dinner um, and have a little look at the books that they have there because they have a good selection of English books or books in English. Um, and then we're gonna probably jump over to Ikea. I feel like we always live in Ikea, but it is really good for kids because Mia currently loves going on chairs and so she's basically just gets to go on every single chair in the whole store um so that's what we're gonna do is just take her around a chair tour of ikea and then possibly get some lunch there um and just basically waste some time because we went on a massive walk yesterday we did over eight kilometers where basically I walked Mia didn't really she wasn't up for walking she wasn't up for the play park or anything um it is kind of decent weather it's a bit windy there this morning I woke up to an earthquake Ingmar slept right through it um, and then my Facebook feed was full of messages about the earthquake so there's something going on there have been a record of 22 earthquakes in the last three hours outside Reykjavik so who knows what's going on um 2020 is turning out to be quite the year isn't it Mia are you clapping because mommy's finished talking? I want to show you why we have to always have the seatbelt super, super tight and how excited she is when we do this. Ready? Ready? Go! One, two, three, escape! <laughs> this is what's great about Ikea. Where are you going, Mrs? She's off. It's all about the tables today. She's ignored all the, all the chairs. Which sofa? That's a nice one. Ooh. In here they've got a children's room. Mia, come play with the toys. Nope. You've gone the wrong way. Yes, follow the arrow. Nope. <laughs> They've gone into the house. Good job. Yep. Go into this little apartment. Is anybody home? Anything on for dinner? No. This is a good apartment, Jeremia. There's the baby's change table. Mummy and Daddy's bed. No, oh, back to the kitchen. There we go. There it is. Yay! No, not bothered at all. Keep walking. Yeah. And she's off. Hi. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'm gonna find you. I wanna get these stools for her. It's so cute seeing her climb on them. Look, you can do it. Yeah. You got it. Bring your leg round. Oh. We'll move it in a little bit. There we go, well done. Yeah, so we're in Costco now. We've got ginormous trolley. Mia's quite happy. Space for mommy's handbag. And it's pretty empty. There's literally no one here, which is very different than the last time we came here. Mia, you dancing, should we get you a drum kit? Yeah, and I've just realized we've got quite a lot in Icelandic, including over here. <laughs> they actually have Peppa Pig in Icelandic which, hmm, we have the Gruffalo, but I just saw this whole selection. I think Ingmar would definitely want me to get that. Let's see how this job interview goes though. Fingers crossed, monkey. Does it feel nice? Yeah, should we see what the next page, next page is? Open? Mia? No. <laughs> I can just give you something that feels like this. 
don't need to spend 2300 <laughs> <laughs> So if you're ever interested to see what we buy in Ikea, we've got a whole load of toilet rolls, um, a whole load of mints, some cheese, some apples, some Ribena, which was, I just grabbed it, and some stork so that we can do some baking. So this is Mia's current situation from about seven in the morning these days, usually with my shoes beside her, but I have them on now. I'm just trying to decide if we're gonna go to your nursery and play in the playground, or if we're gonna go and meet up with the mums and go to the zoo. What do you think? The zoo's quite a walk away and we don't have the car, so I'm just gonna see where daddy is. Mia, there's lots of goats over there. And there's piggies on the other side. You're not not interested. You're just taking the buggy for a walk. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Little Miss Independent. Off you go. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> not interested. You're gonna crash. Crash. Oh. A real life Peppa. <laughs> she is not interested at all. <laughs> Peppa. Mia, what are you up to? Can you see the seals? Mm, she's off. What can you see? <laughs> They've gone swimming. Yeah. Mm. Now headed towards the pirate ship. Mia's gonna go on. Look at this, isn't it amazing? It's huge. Got slides, trip trap bridges, lots of rope, maze things. Yeah. Go up the stairs. We just went down the big slide. Oh, wee! Ready? Wee! <laughs> Mia is now driving the train. Choo choo! Yay! Cheers, cheers. <laughs> That's a funny way of driving. You want some flowers, Mia? Here you go. Get us a bell. Yeah. Not a buttercup. Oh, you're getting tired. It's almost nap time, isn't it? Yeah, flowers. You want another one? Yeah. Here you go. You got a little bug on your face. Yeah. Yay. Our sister has me up for a little play date this afternoon and we were like, okay. Ingmar had a good interview today. They've asked him back for a second one. So we're gonna exploit and uh, <laughs> Mia is still with her auntie and we're on a little date night. So this is the view. And this is the view I've got which actually he's just on his phone pretty much all the time but then I'll just look out into the blue skies and all of these boats and have some yummy food and enjoy date night to myself I'm gonna cheers you with my food you ready? <laughs> I'm gonna try oh she didn't give me sauce cheers cheers <laughs> happy date night mm -hmm. uh, we're in our pajamas we're gonna do our teeth soon, but seeing as Daddy had a good day today and I'm feeling like you deserve a little treat. Are you ready? Three, two, one, woo! Dancing. <laughs> Yay! Mm. <laughs>